The party culture at Tulane is definitely very real. And I kind of debated talking about this or not on my channel. Hey guys, it's Maggie's Movies. And today I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of Tulane University. So if you're wondering where I am, me too. Spoiler alert, I have been contact traced for the first time since I've been on Tulane's campus, hopefully the last. Basically, one of my sweetmates got COVID and I am now at the Hyatt Regency in New Orleans. My stay has been lovely so far, but that is why I'm here right now. So, regardless, I'm going to be giving you guys some DL info might have to use some code words, so just stick around and be ready for that. All right, let's kick it off with the pros, because hopefully, you know, anyone from Tulane is going to click off before I get to the comments. One of the pros of Tulane is that it sort of blends, like, the campus college experience and the big city college experience, because you can literally walk to the edge of campus, hop on, a streetcar and go to the French Quarter if you wanted to. A lot of people I know when they're picking out colleges are like, I can't decide if I want like mountain vibes or city vibes or campus, like typical college vibes. So I think Tulane does a really good job of blending that. It's been so nice to get both experiences, especially with COVID, having like more safe things to do has been amazing. So number two, Tulane has some really interesting courses like some really specific and fun and helpful courses like my first semester I took a course called piracy in the Americas and it is just what it sounds like pirates we learned all about pirates in like North America South America Central America um, and it was so fun we watched like vintage pirate films and analyzed how the view of pirates has changed over time it was amazing. Highly recommend with Professor Chris Lane. I'm taking another course with him this semester. And then there's also stuff like sociology and horror movies and just anything you can imagine. They have some really good classes on it and the professors are so well informed, at least in my experience. So I would definitely say your academic life here is going to be like really good. Oh shoot. Okay, so my camera fell, so hopefully that's a close enough angle. So the next one is I would say Tulane's pretty responsive to their students. They really care about what we have to say, especially in this time where everything is sort of changing. So last semester, we went straight through the semester with no breaks, except for we did get Labor Day off. That was our only break the entire semester. And we did have Thanksgiving break, but we were sent home by then and we did finals all online right after. And so when they gave us sort of this mid-year survey, everyone took it. And a lot of people obviously said that going through an entire semester of college with no breaks is inhumane and cruel and unusual punishment. So Tulane took that and this semester, you know, maybe they didn't give us breaks. Like their response maybe wasn't exactly what everyone wanted, but we have a couple of singular days off called lanyap days and if you don't know what lanyap is it just means like a little something extra and it's just like a new orleans like slang type thing so we have these lanyap days and they're just singular day days off to make sure that people don't travel and bring back covid and cause another spike because we're currently in a spike right now um six greek sororities were suspended so and obviously I'm here at the Hyatt and I literally do nothing, so. I feel like they are very responsive and they take a lot of feedback. As a college student, I think that's really nice to know that you have some sort of impact on your experience there. And it makes me feel like Tulane really cares about you. All right, so the fourth and final pro. I cannot believe the air conditioner just kicked on. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do about that. I'm not that advanced. However, our final pro is that New Orleans is a city with a lot of possibilities. It's a big city 
and I know coming from just outside of Atlanta, it was really nice to have those same opportunities and it's gonna be even more important once hopefully COVID is over and there are concerts and tours coming through because I'm not stuck in the middle of nowhere next to some cows. Um, additionally, Tulane is a school with a lot of opportunities. In fact, President Joe Biden has elected um, multiple Tulane alumni to his cabinet. So like I said, connections you can make at Tulane will take you far in life. And honestly, there's just really good people here as well. So now we're on to the cons. And if you're an adult or anyone in a position of authority, maybe just leave. I don't wanna get in trouble. I get, it's not that bad, it's just the truth. So, okay. So the first one is really obvious, and if you've done any research on Tulane, you probably know this. Tulane is an expensive school. It costs so much money. They do give a good deal of merit scholarship, and you know, there are ways you can get around it to be here, like I'm doing work study. So basically the federal government pays my wage, and I work somewhere on campus. I work at the theater and dance department doing manual labor. And like there's plenty of scholarships you can apply for, but it is so expensive. Housing is expensive, tuition is expensive, books are expensive. It's a problem, but it's such a good school. Like you get a really great experience, but it is so much money. Okay, so the next two kind of work with each other. So the party culture at Tulane is definitely very real. And I mean, we're like the uh, number one, number two party school in America. So yeah, I mean, I guess I should have known that going into it, but I really just kind of ignored it. And I was like, every college is a party school. Like it's fine. And I mean, it is fine. Like it hasn't really affected me that much, but there definitely is maybe sort of a pressure of like, if you're not out on a Friday night or drinking or something on a Friday night, then is your Friday night even like worth anything? Like, what are you doing? And I don't think that's like a conscious thing people push on you, but so many people came here to do that um, in combination with other things probably, but so many people did come here to do that. And so I have felt a little bit of pressure and I mean, it's not like, it's no big deal really, but just know that if you're coming here, that's a uh, very much a norm you know do with that what you will there are plenty of people on campus who aren't partiers just like the majority of people do party and are a little bit outspoken about it now that i'm done with that spiel <laughs> so all of you guys know there's this drug right and it has a very distinct smell you guys all know what i'm talking about You know, it kind of sounds like this French word. And basically, all the dorms smell like it. Every inside hallway smells like it. I am on the outside of wall. So my door opens to open air, which can be good and bad because, you know, there are hurricanes, but also my room doesn't smell like <laughs> always. You know, sometimes things waft in there. But just be prepared, bring your diffuser, bring your Febreze, bring all that stuff. And, you know, just be prepared to get used to everything selling just a little bit like that. My final sort of tea, my final con, and I kind of debated talking about this or not on my channel, but you know, for all the girls thinking of applying to Tulane, all the people who are vulnerable in any way, I just thought I would wanna know before I came. So you can look, there is a survey where you can look at how people experience sexual assault and sexual harassment on this campus, but I would say there's somewhat of a problem. And I mean, to some extent, this is every college. I mean, all these cons are to some extent. But specifically with the Greek life and fraternities, or in some fraternities specifically, uh, I know people who have been roofied. 
I know people who have been sexually harassed at work. And I personally don't consistently feel unsafe. Like I definitely feel like it doesn't hinder my academic performance or my experience, but it just sort of depends what you're going for. So, you know, be careful if you're going to frat parties. And I feel horrible giving you advice on how to avoid this when it shouldn't be your problem in the first place. But unfortunately that is the way it is. And I think Tulane has made some steps to improve things, but I think we're still a good ways off from really hitting that mark and making sure everyone on campus feels safe. And I think part of it starts with people being willing to report things. And that can be a really hard step and hard hurdle to jump over. But basically this is just a shortened little special episode of me talking about my time at Tulane. I have a whole playlist of Tulane videos if you'd like to check it out. Um, I have plenty of Tulane videos about applying to Tulane, about just living at Tulane all of that stuff so please check it out and subscribe if you are a prospective Tulane student if you just want to hear what college life is like in New Orleans if you just liked me in any way please subscribe I post every Sunday at 8 15 a.m central time and just you know look out for those videos sometimes I have two video weeks and I post on Wednesdays at 8 15 a.m so you know, get excited. I have a plethora of videos for you to choose from. You know, if Tulane's not your thing, I have plenty of vlogs from home. I have some fashion videos, you know. So yeah, I'm glad that you stuck around to watch this video. Hopefully this helped you. Feel free to comment any questions or email the email I have listed in my about section. If you have any questions about Tulane, if you need help with your application and you don't want to comment on this video, definitely go for it. But now that we're done, for now, this has been Maggie's Movies. <sighs> See you next time, y'all.